Boom. There it is. Uh, we are now up and live. Monday. 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 All right, Brad and Alex. Monday's usually not a day for Resident Evil. What's going on here? Mm. Hijack American Thanksgiving. Okay, that's all. That there's that, and Brad has hijacked this Monday stream for Resident Evil Seven, or like Resident Evil Seven VR Day. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, Verduction. (laughs) Verduction. Do not serve a virtual reality at your Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, there's uh, the reality of uh, getting family together for a beautiful holiday in celebration of all virtual truths. It's the American, go. I, <laughs> it's the American I, way. I, I, I deep fried an Oculus Quest. Here you go. That's right. Uh, we are here to uh, uh, stick that deep fried Oculus Quest onto Brad, and then we detach yeah. as he enjoys it in... Resident, Resident Evil 7. Resident Evil 7. Also, is, it, is it PlayStation VR? Yes. 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 But yes. It's want to be accurate here. Mouthfeel. Yes. You know, it's the, the Oculus just fries, to, fries up better. I was trying to stay accurate and up to date with all the VR headsets the kids are talking about. Oh, mm-hmm. is, that, mm-hmm. is, that still, is that still like the, if I were to buy a VR headset tomorrow, ah. say, say there were some <laughs> kind of a national consumerism day. Mm, uh, I'd say maybe. Headset. Yeah. I'd say maybe don't. Just don't. I'd say maybe, wow. I'd say maybe hold we, off for now. We live in America. Every day is National Consumerism Day. Aww. There's also that. Oh, that's the card I just got. That's the card I gave Alex <laughs> for his birthday. Mm-hmm. Uh, every day. Here's a gift card to Amazon. Every day is National Consumerism Day. Well, you're right. I'd spend my money on a big old flight stick. Good choice, Brad Schumacher. Now you're talking. Yes. Now you're talking. You're going to buy right. some heavy mm-hmm. hardware. Yeah. Get a racing wheel. That's right. A racing wheel on a, on a flight stick. Uh, yes. Let's get you mounted and then dunk up. dunk it in a deep fryer. Gosh, oh, boy. That'd be pretty good. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm at, but I got the sense last week maybe I'm closer to the end of this thing than I thought. Oh. I don't know. You tell me. Well, based we'll on what out. I've I gathered, and I have not looked this up, but just based on what people are saying, I bet there's a potential for you to finish this today, but if not, all you I, know, let's uh, all, all, we'll see. All I know from my years of Resident Evil when you leave the spooky house and you move on to the spooky something else, yeah, you're really in the shit. Would you or in this case, the ship? A nice, nice. You're deep in the ship now. Um, you're yes. still in the ship. Uh, put your That's boots right. on. You got to wade through right. the ship know. today. I don't. I don't know if I'm going back to the house or what. Whatever. I'm going to get in here. I'm excited to find out. Let's ship find in, out. Ship in one hand, VR in the other. See which one okay, happens bye. first. Bye. Uh, bye and of course, we are just talking about the main campaign here. We're not talking about the DLC, which, which uh, if, if Brad is up for it, we'll probably do on a separate stream. This is my this is my impression of DLC. <laughs> this is actually yeah. While we're here, uh, it was, since we're about to get into a game with a lot of bad hand stuff, I don't know if this is going to show or not. But uh, oh, if you can you see do? the number of band aids on my hands. Uh, <laughs> I played drums after not playing for over a month, and uh, it uh, the blisters came back. Your skin was not ready. Yeah. Oh wow! So take wow. that shit, Ethan. Wow, wow, yeah. You put it, Ethan puts a nail through his hand and uh, gets it chopped mm-hmm. off, and you know you you've got band aids on your thumbs. So it's just pour some like uh, liquid on there to make it all better. Yep. All Try right, playing right. punk rock for four hours. See how that goes for you. <laughs> Let's get over to Brad. Let's get the audio up. Boom. Let's get over to Brad. Zoop. And let's make sure Alex is getting all this. I'm hearing it. Okay, good. I can hear the biz. Happy Monday, So we're still in the wreck ship. Happy Monday. Yeah, still in the wreck ship. Still as Mia, I believe. Yes. Mia has a gun now. Mia had a gun for a while at the end there. Yeah. Mia, Mia, mirrors. Mirrors? Mirrors. Yeah, since I have the wide angle here now, you can see the full breadth of, of my pain. <laughs> oh, man. So no no drumming gloves for you? <sighs> no, because I'm not in a hair metal band circa 1987. I can't live that life, man. I just can't. These are your choices. I've tried, I've tried the, the gloves. They, 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 no bueno. <laughs> we all make choices. Mm, got a little Brad's getting his mm, on. Oh. Mm-hmm. A little bit of a huh? Oh. 
A hum and a hum. A patented Brad. Huh. A hum and a hum and hawing. I feel like I've got to sit just the right way in this little box. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. It's oh. widescreen presentation. You know, you gotta you gotta adjust for the cropping. Seventy Get millimeter, Vinny. That's right. Oh. Sparks. Well, there's your problem. You got sparks. Yeah. It's got sparks in your elevator. Oh, we can't fix this. <laughs> I walked in. Oh, yeah, we got to tear all that out. Uh, there was at least three molded men and one one thing on the floor. I don't know what the fuck that was. I'd never even seen it before, but uh, I'm sure that's not up to code. It's just it was crawling upside down. Uh, with this whole place is an OSHA violation, man. Do you know I had to get up here by crawling on jagged sheet metal? Your, your stairs are out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to charge you extra for that. <laughs> I, thought, I lost three guys getting to this room. Uh, they weren't good guys, but that's not the point. That's not the point. I gotta go find new guys. <laughs> you think you'd leave more ammo? The hell. Oh no. The poor laptop. Does Let Brad have out. any means to open door? Let me out. All right, time to go up the uh, sparky ladder. I, uh, yeah, was, climb up a metal ladder right next to the sparking electricity. That's a good idea. I was talking to someone, another parent, as we were dropping the kids off at school, and one of the most blessed things uh, a suburban own owner can hear was said, which was, mm -hmm. "I love my contractor." And I said, "Oh, oh wow!" My, I said, "Oh my god, do you need to please introduce me?" <laughs> Don't tell anyone else, and give me their name, please. I think I've heard that phrase maybe once in my entire life. It never, it never happens. Ooh. No disrespect to any of the contractors listening or watching. I understand it's a very hard job, but love my contractor. I loved my contractor, and then they retired. Mmm. I think, I think we were the last job they did. One last job. <laughs> yeah. It still works. Yeah, maybe. Tap, 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 to tap, tap, to tap. Oh, how cool would it be if our stream came up on that computer right now? What if Mia went to uh, uh, twitch.tv slash nextlander? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, that's much worse. Oh, no. <laughs> that's... <laughs> I don't think you made it in time. Mia, I'm just going to open this pipe here. Uh... If you get this message, there's a pipe labeled Skull and Crossbones XXX. Ah, fuck. <laughs> Why you just Shit. It, Evelyn? <sighs> Fucking hallucinations. I don't know. Ethan. Mm-hmm. Why is uh, yeah? D take your time, Brad. He's just molding down there. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. Why am I covered in the ghoul? That's, that's, <laughs> that's a couple of layers deep on that. Yeah. Just in time for Ghostbusters Afterlife. <laughs> Very timely. I'm hip. Mm-hmm. We'll search every drawer. You never know what might be in the drawer of a giant boat. But you'd think more stuff. It's stuff. full of chems. Yes. It's uh, weed, chems. Mm hmm. All the good stuff. There's no law out there on the high seas, just weed law. Ooh. 
boat law and weed law the two laws <laughs> the two laws sometimes they line up perfectly sometimes they do not Alex, I feel like you are more acquainted with uh, uh, weed law or weed than I am. If I call it marijuana, am I mm-hmm. a dork? You're a narc. <laughs> okay, good to know. Good to know. All right. Yeah. No, sorry. It's uh, we're we're well past that. You might as well say uh, you uh, you putting together a doobie there. <laughs> Hey, kid, sounds like somebody's smoking grass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some of that uh, devil's lettuce, you know what I'm saying? (laughs) No, no. Marijuana is now fine and legal. Just go ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go uh, play WhatsApp (laughs) on Mm -hmm. my my phone. I'm going to play. Could you uh, give me the number of some people who could uh, perhaps deal me some of the marijuana for my own personal smoking needs? Come on, guys. Can I see your phone? I'll check you into Foursquare. Mm -hmm. I'm going to need phone numbers and addresses, please. I'd like to be your play box friend. Mm -hmm. Send me your code. No, yeah, I'd love to hang out with your dealer. That's also oh. another way. You know, <laughs> park. I'd love to hang out. <laughs> love to hang. Nobody wants to hang out with anybody's dealer. No. I don't know. I feel like we're probably a few years away uh, from federal legalization and all those jokes just becoming antiquated. But mm. I'm going to treasure them for as long as I can. Right. Because that's the direction everything's headed in. I'm all, hey, I'm all in favor of it. Just saying. Hey. And I will miss a certain amount of the it is just slightly an illegal subculture thing. Like, just because uh, that's how I grew up. All the jokes that died like, hey, pour me a drink, friend. I'd mm-hmm. love to have some of your whiskey. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'd like one of your special cigarettes. <laughs> Jazz cigarettes, please. Ohm. Ohm. There will be a whole generation of kids that didn't grow up smoking bad shake weed they bought from a fucking dirt bag in eighth grade behind a fucking abandoned 7 Eleven. Probably for the best. Probably for the best. Is it? Uh, oh, look at I this guy. I think that's a formative experience for a child. Look at this guy. What's this guy's story? I'm gonna. I'm free. I'm getting out the fucking window. Later, suckers. Yoink. <laughs> I'm out. Oh, what? No, it's fine. It wasn't that far. I could make that oh. jump. I mean, your shins might hurt a little, but you could do it. Sharing TV. Somebody was playing mm-hmm. some good, good old Genesis in that room. Both Genesis and Genesis. Any meaning of the word. Mm-hmm. Reading Genesis. Listening, listening to, to Flame to Confusion while playing Sonic 2. That's right. Wondering about the, the nature of creation. Mm-hmm. And Star Trek. Just, yeah, just keep going down, Brad. Eventually, you'll hit Ethan. Can't miss him. Yeah, you need to look for the giant uh, ball of resin stuck to a wall. He's the only guy encased in filth that still has uh, a <laughs> color in his skin. Is Phil Collins still alive? He is alive. I think he is not in the best health these days. Hmm. 
He's definitely not drumming anymore. I think he still performs a little bit, but mostly he just sits down and sings. Mm. I mean, that's a that's a taxing one. Being an yeah. old, older drummer. Being an older drummer who also sings at the same time. Like, that's a lot going on. It's a lot. Somewhere down here is a boyfriend or a husband, whatever he is. Dude guy. <laughs> I think it's the basement level, though, right? If I remember correctly, it is in the bowels of the ship. But if anybody watching this is new here, Vinny never remembers correctly. And those, mm -hmm. are, those are words to live by. I hear from the chat, Genesis may be touring the U.S., which is... Surprising and I think, not surprising. I, I think I mentioned this before, but we're doing Miami Vice next for the Manhunting podcast over at Waypoint Way Plus. And I just rewatched the uh, the Miami Vice pilot this past weekend. Mm -hmm. And you know what? What? That fucking in the air tonight moment, <laughs> it still hits. Oh, hell. It still hits hard. <sighs> they actually do the work to make that moment feel like it is a big deal and a big culmination of everything that happens in that hour and a half long pilot. <laughs> And it kicks ass. Nope. Okay. Backing up slowly. That door, that's not even a door anymore. A door that doesn't open is just the wall, man. Think about it. Think mm -hmm. about it. You ever thought about just kicking the shit out of that thing? Oh. That seems like a tool. He's, he's exploring, he's going through the map. He's mm -hmm. I like what he's doing here. Ah. He's getting frustrated. I mean, it's a, you know, it's a whole tangled maze down here. Eventually, he'll find his way. Hmm. Tangled up in goo. Here. My favorite Bob Dylan song. Um, uh -huh. Apparently, Phil Collins' son plays drums on that Genesis tour. Oh, that's adorable. That I like. D gets yelled at by dad. Probably a little bit. I could have done. I could have done it better. Is what he's dragging. You're dragging. <laughs> I hate you, Dad. So much. So I hate you so much. That's my, that's my boy. <laughs> my favorite one of those was uh, seeing John Carpenter on tour, and his son plays like makes all that music with him now. Uh -huh. So, father and son on stage having a good time, making their little keyboards. He wants to get up. Red wants to get up over there. You gotta get up to get down. Uh-huh, now he's getting it. Mm-hmm. Now you're thinking of fuses. Damn, damn. As always, Brad will come out of the helmet and ask for advice if he wants it. What would you for tell him? For now, he doesn't want it. What would you tell him? Keep looking. Ugh. It's Good the worst enough. advice imaginable, but it's all I got, so... Just keep on looking. Mm -hmm. Just keep looking. Hey, man. Somewhere is your husband, and he <laughs> is encased in filth, and you will find him. That's me. That's my, what my wife says. Well, the people tell her. Somewhere is your mm -hmm. husband, and he is encased in filth. Somewhere. Yep. In this case, you're encased in filth. In the basement. In the basement. <sighs> in the basement. Going back up. Going back up. I... Maybe chat can correct me if I am wrong. Again. Fuse. Does he still need fuses in that elevator, or is that elevator out of play now? Oh, are you saying, like, could he grab that, that fuse out of there and use it for something else? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You might be right. 
I remember the elevator being a thing, but maybe, uh... I don't have any videotapes, I don't think. Or any new ones, anyway. Damn, damn. Oh, shit. Oh. Uh, something has come to our Bradley. Ah! It is fun to just think about Ethan just sitting there writhing in the stuff, just being like, Okay. All right. We're, um... Been here a while. I guess the only thing that can make this worse is if Mia shows up after I picked Zoe, but... Mm hmm It's fine. I'll be dead eventually. I'll just, <laughs> just wait it out. Hopefully I die before that happens. This isn't really that painful. It's just kind of smelly. It's actually pretty nice. Yeah. It's like taking a mud bath. But the mud hates you. Ooh. Hey, remember, uh, remember? Because I'll never forget it because it's horrible. Remember that scene from uh, House of Ashes where the guy's kept alive for like thousands of years with just half of his brain? That is one of those moments that it's just like this is this feels like it's from another game because it's so much more fucked up than anything else that happens in that game. Yeah, yeah, that was bad. Like that is a Cronenberg level. Oh fuck! What uh, are we doing here? That's no good. Yeah, that was good stuff. There's a couple of those I feel like in media. I think I think Doctor Who had one where a guy was. Uh, like immortal and trapped underground for for a thousand years, and that's like a bad one. Trapped in like a coffin in a grave. There was. But a was he encased in like <laughs> no. fucking goo that kept the half no. of him that wasn't a skeleton alive? No, no. All right, that's no, a that, yeah, like no. <sighs> I think, I think Doctor Who also Rory was like a centurion guarding something for a long time. Not Matt Rory, different Rory. Mm -mm. Sorry, I only know one Rory, and I only recognize one Rory. Mm -hmm. <sighs> So at this point, he's really just trying to find his way down to the basement, right? I think so. I think so. Yeah, here we go. All right, he's I, coming up for you. I don't, I don't really have a good answer for him, though. Chat, now's your chance. Before the only thing gets, I could think whoop. of is that fuse. Chat, now's your chance. Write something where he has to go, the right thing, and then I'll say it to him and make it sound like I'm smart. Oh, sorry. Hi. Hey, oh, I was just trying to remember where you have to go. Hello? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hang on, I've lost you for some reason. Are, you, are we plugged in? Are you plugged in? Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh. Hi. That's the problem. It's because both of these jacks in. are right next to each other. <laughs> so pay attention to which one I grab. Jacking in. Hi, Brad. Hello. Hi. 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 How you doing? You looking uh, for a tip? Con, sort of. Like, I, let me just preface this by saying playing this for only two hours a week is tough <laughs> to come back to. Yeah. Um, let me just ask before I mm -hmm. jump back down the elevator shaft again, am I done on the fourth floor? Oh, that's hard for me to say. I don't have a very clear idea of what you need to do. I can only give okay. you what I think a hint, a subtle hint to what I think you need to do, if you want that. There's, there's at least one lock that I need the corrosive to get through, mm -hmm. which I haven't found yet. And uh, I'm trying to think what other avenues I have open. So, so I, I don't have a hundred percent idea of what you need to do. I could share with you what I what I think you should try if that's a, if mm -hmm. you feel comfortable with sure. that. Sure. Uh, I think I think you should. If I'm remembering correctly, I think there's something more to do with the fuses. Okay, that that was the one thing I was wondering after yeah. I left that floor is if I should grab that fuse and do something else with it. But I don't know where else to stick it anyway. I'll go try it. Okay. Uh, right. there's, Thanks. um, if you do get stuck again, oh, you'll pop back out. You'll, you'll, yeah. Yeah. Explore. yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. Bye-bye.
All right. And off he goes back into the world. Yeah. Man, we could just we could have just told him anything. Hey, you gotta shoot mm-hmm. something. There's there's this really bad puzzle where you just have to have three ammo left in your pistol to get through a door. Ooh, that's a dog. Hey Alex, did you have um, Hot Wheels or Matchbox as a kid? Were you like a Hot Wheels yeah. or Matchbox kid? I had, a, I had a bunch of those. They have a thing now where they're like RFID um, Hot Wheels cars or, or Matchbox. I always get them confused. And they like come into your virtual world. The car, you get the car, and then you scan it, and it comes in. And uh, there he goes. And man, mm-hmm. that's just like. And then you like race them in like your your uh, virtual version of them. That's like, mm-hmm. that's cool. That's that is like kind of neat. That's like a neat kid's thing. I mean, it's a money maker for sure, but. I mean, just wait until they turn them all into NFTs. <laughs> it could always be Mario, but this mm-hmm. Mario. But it's your Mario. This the sound on the doors. Mm hmm. Very crazy. It's, it's getting to me. There's a lot of good foley in this game. Ooh. Yeah. There's, there's something is dripping. I don't know if that was the spot for it, but you know. Now he's gonna now you have to remember where he put that thing. Sometimes you just gotta try shit. See how it goes. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a heart. Oh. No, you, you do. You have, you have two. It's me and Brad. Hmm. <coughs> uh oh. Wait, is that Brad coughing? I think was, so. Okay, because he's playing as Mia. Not Ethan. Look, Mia just has a very deep cough. It happens. It happens. I mean, she's been breathing mold for hours <laughs> now, you know? Like, that, those lungs aren't looking great right now. Uh-huh. A lot of Doctor Who chat happening now. I, think mm-hmm. I, I got out of Doctor Who after that whole uh, 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 the 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 Rory and uh, I forget who the traveling partner was. But she's been in a bunch of other stuff now. Amy? Benny, I, I can tell you right now the number of episodes of Doctor Who the, across the entire lifespan of that series I can count on one hand. It was, Yet it was somehow good... I have seen I have seen three seasons of Torchwood. I can't explain it. <laughs> I like Torchwood a lot. I like that yeah. one a lot. That was good. Owen, uh, is my introduction to a Welsh accent. It is maybe the only thing set in Wales I have ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> it's good though. Wait, can he use that uh, that wrench thing on the door? I think this is where he needs his um, uh, corrosive stuff. No. It just it looked like it was the. Like the lock looked like it was the same shape as that like socket wrench thing that he has. Is he gonna shoot the fuse? Is he just fed up? I don't blame him. Mm hmm. No, it's still a fuse. <laughs> oh, man. Can he not jump I think up the thing there? I, yeah, I don't know. 
I think the thing I liked about Torchwood uh, was that it just, you know, it was the silliness of the Doctor Who stuff, but the, the thing they added was a very important ingredient of what if everyone just fucked all the time? <laughs> yes. Pansexual is a lot of them. Just nonstop fucking from everyone across the board. <laughs> like, I respect the hell out of that. Gooey sounds. Yeah. I want to help him. I do. I might have to look into what he has to do next if I we hit a I, wall. I thought he can get up that elevator, but. Maybe he has to take the stairs now that the stairs are open. Could be. The thing was, he really tore through a lot of this stuff yeah. last time. You know, he like he said, it's you know, it's hard. He's got to remember where everything is now. Coming back in from last week. All right. All right let's make up something. Real I'll look up a guide <laughs> just to be safe. Let's make up something real fun. You'll never hear us. Hello. Oh, hi, Brad. Hi. hi. Mm. No, it turns that... turns out you can't. You missed the you missed the item back in level three. And you, okay. You okay. Can't get it's it's, it's, it's I was gonna say I can't. I can't go. Wait. Okay. Yes, he's fucking with you. Uh, well, shit. So, I mean, I can't get off this floor with with that fuse unless there's something I'm missing. So can you not jump up in the on that? You, you can't climb up on that box to get into the That's elevator. What it, that's what it looks like, but I can't get it to activate if that's what it's supposed to do. So I'm just gonna... highly unorthodox, but I, and I can barely see this because it's oh, zoomed wow. out. But... Oh wow! Okay, wow. Oh, so I'm just gonna, I'm just going to vomit all over the place. Oh boy! Is there like something I'm missing about how you have to like step up onto it? I don't know. I thought I thought you have to get that fuse like, in the elevator. Like that's exactly what it looks like. Like, but I'd, I'm like, looking at a guide right now. now. Walk up to it and hit the button, and like. And if you point up to the hole, it doesn't like do it for you. Oh, yeah! All okay. the climbing is automatic in this. You basically just walk up and into something, and it just does mm. it. I mean, this then, seems awfully conspicuous. And then that fuse controls the door. So here's here. I'm just gonna tell you what I think. I remember. I, yes, I think. Sir. Okay. Yep. I'm just gonna lay it out Go for you. I think there are two fuses in that elevator, and I think you have to do some kind of like mix and match. I think there's another fuse somewhere that maybe that you're missing, and you have to do some mix and match puzzle stuff where you're like, oh, uh, getting oh. the fuse, putting in a thing, coming down the thing, oh, getting the thing. If, okay. if I remember correctly, chat can correct me if I'm wrong, but um, oh boy. Okay. Uh, I remember right. like, going up, going down, having to figure that stuff out. That sounds like Resident Evil. I will. Uh, right. I will let you know if I hear otherwise. Okay. Please cool. let me know if I'm dead wrong on that. People in the chat. Okay. That, the only thing I will good. add to this before you go is that I think at some point in the near future you will probably be using something involving a remote bomb. So just keep an eye out for that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Watch out for that. Do 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 do. He's going back in. He's back in. Boy, I hope, I hope that in. was close enough. Close enough. Do so you have a guide up, Alex? Uh, I picked one up, yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm having to skip ahead a lot to try and figure out exactly where he is, but yeah, he. So he's. Uh, if you look for, he just passed that cutscene with Evelyn and Mia, and there was mm -hmm. a cutscene, and he just regained control. I don't know if the guide has like a. Once you regain control after the cutscene, you'll be in the control room of the boat, or the command, the deck, whatever you call the the bridge. It does not say that specifically. Uh... Oh, there he goes. Now he's back up in a the thing. There we go. And he'll have to get down in the elevator at some point. Mm-hmm. So he can't, yeah, the, the elevator can't go anywhere yet, but yeah. But I think he is supposed to climb up that ladder. The sparky ladder, that's, that's the new thing. So oh. that, that oh, spark. What? Oh boy. Oh, well. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is how he's gonna get back Come down. On. Oh, frustrated Brad has appeared. <laughs> But this is... I think that was the thing he was missing. I think he still needs another fuse. 
he may, but at the same time, I think that this is the path he wants to be on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whether this is the time for it or not, I cannot tell you, but... Uh-oh. Somebody's coming. Oh, there's a guy. Oh, but now he can get to this floor. Not, don't go down there, but now he can get to this middle floor, maybe. Does he have that fuse still? No, it's in a door. He couldn't open the door okay. without the fuse. Right, so right, right, okay. I think if he explores this second floor, maybe. Yes. Maybe we'll some more. That seems likely. So yeah, he definitely hasn't checked any of this stuff out yet. Uh-huh, he's giving a little nod. Mm -hmm. He's like, okay, I get it. Uh-huh. Oh, missing a fuse, missing a cable. Okay. Ooh. Cave and a fuse. All right. No. Oh. Climb up. He climbed up. Ooh. Knife. He's got the knife. In the torchwood, like, did it just, just not do well enough? I mean, Doctor Who went. No, it did. Going on for all eternity. I think it was. I think it was reasonably popular. They did three series of it in the UK, and then they did a Showtime reboot. I think. Oh really? Uh, oh, I never saw that. With Ed, like Mackay Pfeiffer was on it, but it also had like some, like at least John Barrowman and the 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 lady. Uh, what the hell is her name? I haven't seen her in anything besides yeah. Torchwood, so I can't remember her name. Oh, but good. I think it just had them. Okay. I did not see that version of it. I watched all the, the, the BBC ones, though. Ah. Yeah. It's a good knife. Good knife. Uh, What's wrong? What? Hmm? A remote bomb. There's your remote bomb. Oh. And a quick 180. Wait. Did he discover like a to-do list? He's like firing on all cylinders now. Let's corrode, my friends. Hmm. Oh, sorry. Ooh, Alex, you do some traveling this week, huh? I am taking off on Wednesday. Go back see the family. I haven't been home in two years now, which is uh, maybe not a long time for some people, but it's been a long time for me because hmm. I used used to go back at least once, if not twice a year. I did see my mom and my stepdad earlier this year, but uh, That's right, I haven't you been to the, the hometown in a while. You did the uh, the rafting trip. That's yeah, true, but I haven't seen my dad. In in like two years and uh you know friends i want to hang out with while i'm there <laughs> one of those was due mm -hmm. what was that guy doing it's just it's working on a, he's trying to put like a bucket of water over the door jam so when he sorry <laughs> sorry i was doing some some lighting fixture work <laughs> 
God, you gonna knock next time or what? I'm in here. I'm in here. Okay. <laughs> Hold on, jeez, come on! Freaking in, lock doesn't work, apparently. <laughs> He's gotta like you own the place. All right, I'm out of here. What do you want? Yeah. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Anyway, hello. Do you have a package for me or something? Oh, come like, on. What is up? Oh, sorry, my ankle. Died. What are you doing? Oh. Uh. Listen, I don't come down to where you work and slap the T-Vivers out of your mouth, all right? Oh, my back. Oh, I'm just going to lay here for a little while until my head regrows, okay? <sighs> you did it. Mm-hmm. Put the remote bomb in the microwave. Yeah, don't put that shit in the microwave. That's a bad That's idea. It's going to be really stinky. Ah, a reference to Raccoon City. It's probably a place called Raccoon City in the United States, right? Gotta be. I, and if there is a place I called mean, Raccoon... I mean, maybe there's like an, uh, like an enclosure at the zoo that's called that, but I don't think there's a real city called that, no. You don't think so? No, dude, I, that's one of the main... like. We accept a lot in video games, and uh -huh. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm generally in favor of it. But the fact that we all just accepted that no, they named a major metropolitan area Raccoon City, is like, that I, is okay. <laughs> we we are clearly willing to go along with a lot for our video games. It's like all sorts of dumb names. Like you would do, okay, Raccoon Bird, Raccoon Tropolis. I just, you know, maybe just the name Raccoon. Maybe not, oh, raccoon. like, you know, it doesn't need a whole thing on it. If there were a place called Raccoon City, you could almost guarantee all the signs are gone, and they just changed their yes. name to something else. Bobblehead. You're gonna have to waste that ammo. Ah. You're gonna have to waste that ammo. Ah. Just one bullet. Apparently there is a city in Kentucky that is just called Raccoon. <laughs> okay, they let's come on, folks. Everybody here needs to apparently move to Raccoon, Kentucky, and we're gonna get this thing turned into a city, and then we can all move back after that. That's fine. Just enough people. Just don't let the Umbrella Corporation in. <laughs> if they want to build a campus here, say no. We are gonna Ooh. rename Next Landed to Umbrella Corp. Probably have to put a few vowels as A's or something. We're gonna move to Raccoon, Kentucky. Uh, this is all gonna be fine. I've got some big ideas about biochemical, uh, uh, the biochem, um, future. And yeah. I want you all to join me there. I feel like Brad's got so much going on now. Man, that stuff is very corrosive. That is a heck of a plastic bottle. You know, I do agree with Luna in the Discord chat here. Next Lander could definitely be the name of an evil corporation in a video game. Like, oh. I can see it. Oh, yeah, for sure. I think we talked about that when we were naming it. Like, that is... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is this too menacing sounding? <laughs> Does this sound like some, like corporation that made androids that wound up taking over the world at one point because good because that's what we're aiming for good yeah are we gonna have it's like weird a, a very saccharine promo video like here at next lander the future belongs to all of mm -hmm. us yeah it's uh -huh. like that it's like that uh that uh fucking you ever see the movie michael clayton no i don't think i have. Oh, okay there's a bit in there where they, uh, the evil energy corporation in that movie, like they're watching like a uh, sort of, you know, we here at blank company, you know, like they're yes. all the good things they do, all the, the benefits. And it's just the most <laughs> like transparently fucking evil thing you've ever seen, even though it is just like dressed up with nothing but like, you know, uh, stock footage of people smiling and prancing through fields and whatnot, despite the fact this company has poisoned thousands of people. <laughs> That's what Next Lander's aiming for. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Nailed it. I was going to say, for as much time as we spent noodling around on the name and obsessing over it, I've actually just kind of stopped thinking about it. It's just become reflexive now. Yeah, no, that's a good thing. We talked about that, too. Like, I think we we talked about, like, remember the Wii. Remember the Wii. Yes. And it'll be hopefully be fine. And let's just do a lot of neck slander, neck slander stuff. And then Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll just get over it. I forget who the first person who said the word neck slander to us was, but uh, never stopped thinking about it. I, I when I when we were talking about the name, it was the first thing in my head. That's like because I can't, I couldn't say it for a while. Neck slander. Yeah. All right. Go, Bradley. Go. Go, Bradley. Go. Get on down there. <laughs> To the recreation room. Uh huh. Fuck. Good shot, Brad. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh-huh. Not a lot left in the, the old chamber there. Making his way to go corrode another door. See, I disagree with Gold Gregory here in the chat. I think Nextlander sounds like a company that you think is doing positive things, but is secretly fracking hell. It's not a secret. We're doing it very transparently. We are going to unleash the gates of hell in order to power your homes. We think it will benefit all of us. It's the most. It's the most renewable energy. There are so mm-hmm. many people going to hell. What is he looking for now? Uh, an exit. I think he's trying to. I think he thought he was going to be able to get to the other room. Ooh, money. Coinage. Brad's favorite little spot. Mm hmm. Oh, he loves it here. And you should watch Michael Clayton. It's one of the best movies ever made. Is it a comedy? No, God, no, <laughs> no. I mean, it has a couple of funny parts in it, but no, not what even remotely. Well, okay, what, what is it? A drama? Yes, so, it is a drama. Okay. I feel. It, is it I love that. That's where your mind went. That's funny. It's well. It's like we. Like I thought maybe it was a satire with the scene you had set up. No, 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 no. Not hardly. Fuck, 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 fuck. Somebody's coming. Uh, yeah, just in time. Nice. But yeah, no, that movie has uh, all time uh, George Clooney, Tom Wilkinson, and Tilda Swinton performances in it, so. Is it based on a true story? No. Okay. I mean, it's based on genuinely fucked up stuff but it is a work of fiction okay okay they managed to find the one horrible terrible thing that hasn't been told yet yes that that is not real yes this man is going through his chemicals finally i will be able to say to you i am shiva the god of death and you will know what i'm talking about the uh okay just watch it. Okay. Just get the wife together. Watch the movie. Maybe don't maybe don't bring the kids in. They'll be bored. <laughs> kids aren't ready for Tom Wilkinson. Not yet. That's like not yet. It's like a twelve year old thing. Mm. 
Okay, so, okay, there's that blast door. Is he gonna go there? Is that what you're talking about with the remote bomb? I think it might be, yeah. Because what if you I'm run not 100% out of, sure, but yeah. I don't know, what if you run out of remote bombs? He has a, several. Yeah, but like in the game in general. Like, what would you do? Like, there's a door behind him. Yeah, this? Oh. Oh, there you go, Brad. Well, he yeah. unlocked it. Now he can get the fuse, I think, and do a circuit. Maybe. Dude. Okay, can he? I think he might be able to. Hmm. He's having thoughts. It's a jangly uh, weapon you got there, Brad Shoemaker. Mm-hmm. Clunk, 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 clunk. <laughs> oh, gosh. Carrying 800 remote bombs. Got pockets full of tubes of wiffle balls in here. <laughs> oh, come on. No, I'm dead. Die now? Not really dead. Just because really my head didn't explode doesn't mean I'm not dead, all right? I'm very we dead. We don't all explode the same way, all right? That's right, asshole. Have some respect. Some folks in the Discord are talking about that crypto.com, uh, the Staples Center's crypto.com, crypto.com center, whatever they're calling it. And, uh, and until they pay us. Uh, no, okay, I'll say a crypto site. Uh, and uh, there was messaging that was like how brave it is to get into like crypto. I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's not really what I was thinking when I think of like, man, you're so brave. I don't think you know what the word bravery means. I don't think so. Brave. Uh, See, yes. it's funny because which of these paintings, like but some of these paintings, like what's the right way up? Would you even know if it was the right would, way up? Would, would you even know? That is the majesty of art. Oh, Brad's an artist. Ha! Huh. Stuff. Yes. Look at all that corrosive juice. I'll be Man. in my bunk room. Oh, I wish I had a bunk room. Just multiple beds. All right. Alex, you think you can have a bed that's too big? Is that possible? No. Yeah, I don't think so either. Unless it continues growing perpetually. Breaking through the walls of your house. That I mean, would that be a problem. Would still be a great bed, though. Be like, it's problem. one of those GTA cars that just keeps getting bigger and bigger. It'd be a problem, but it would still be a great bed. Yeah. yeah as long as the mattress is good. I guess it... Okay, if you had a bed that's so big and kept growing that you could never get out of it, it might be a problem. 
like if it grew fast. Well, yeah, because eventually it would just subsume the entire Earth. Oh, just one giant bed. Yeah. Is that so bad? Slowly spreading over the Earth like a giant shadow. A big fluffy shadow. <laughs> Just somebody gets like one of those like Casper things and opens the box and it just keeps <laughs> keeps growing and growing. It's the uh, the worst goosebump story uh, that, mm -hmm. they, that they ever wrote. It's like that movie, the deathbed, the bed that eats people. Oh, that's is that a real thing? Which I've never actually seen, but I've heard the Pat Oswalt bit about it many times. <laughs> He has so much corrosive and a backpack. Oh, that's oh yes, that's a happy Brad. Nice backpack. <sighs> okay. <laughs> still, still thinking about getting in that shower room. Have you ever slept on a waterbed? I had a waterbed for a little bit. It wasn't a full one. It was like a hybrid mattress waterbed thing. How does that work? It was so fine. Like water just on like a top layer kind of thing? It's just not as like squishy as like a full on water mattress is. Like it has, it's more firm. But it has a little bit of a sink to it. Wait, but there was water in it? Yes. What else was in it? I don't know. I never looked inside. I just built it up and said, yep, that's a bed. It's like one of those stress balls, like a gel thing. Uh, honestly, it was pretty comfy. I wouldn't it, like once you get that, though, you just need to not move ever again, because that's not a thing you want to do. But uh, here's the thing. I uh, I didn't go back to that kind of bed afterward. Mm. If that tells you anything. Oh, no, he's out. He's out of safe spots. He's done it. Just you could just start. start from stretch. Yeah, from You're not going back to the, those early saves, man. Do you say yes? 800, okay. gi 800 gigs of, uh, of Resident Evil saves. Yes, now I just have a king-size Casper, and it's, uh, it's A-OK. -okay. King-size, though. I mean, when they we did that sponsorship, I was like, well, I'm not going to get the same size bed. I might the as well just, like, if this is a way to upgrade, I'm going to upgrade. Fuck it. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Do you know what that, um, did you ever see that Ublex stuff? No. <laughs> it's. it's I want to fill a bed with Ublek. It's that stuff that, like, you can, uh, if you go slowly, it's like the, it's like the shields in, uh, in Dune. If you go slowly through it, you can, it's like a liquid, mm. and, but if you, if you hit it real hard, it's basically just cornstarch and water, I think. If you hit it real hard, it firms up immediately. Make a, okay. bed, make a water bed out of Ublek so that, like, it seems nice and squishy, and then somebody jumps on it, and it's like a brick. Just, just hit it like a brick. That feels like a jackass prank, and I like it. Yeah, no, it's a nice, soft, squishy bed. Here, jump on it. Jump and then Bam it goes flying through a window. <laughs> go ahead. Or lands with the loudest smack you've ever heard. <laughs> Ublek's pretty neat, though. I don't know if you've ever seen, like, to think, like, you can, like, run on top of it, but if you stop running, you just sink down it. You just mm. sink into it. Oh, so it's like quicksand. It's like quicksand, but if you keep running, you keep moving on top of it. You just have to outrun the science. <laughs> That's right. It's like Wile E. Coyote of non Newtonian fluids. You just got to keep moving. Otherwise, science catches up with you. Uh. Yes. It's a shame that Isaac Newton did not live long enough to see the concept of non Newtonian fluids. So he's like, hey, Newton, fuck you. This fluid ain't for you. This is, this is definitely not a fluid I would truck with. This ain't your shit. You are right. But I like it. <laughs> that's my <laughs> Newton, that's what Newton said. But Too I bad, like you've got one law and this ain't for you. 
but I have three. Oh. Oh, All right. He has a lot of, uh, to be fair, a lot of bombs. I don't know why he thinks that's the spot for it, but I'll just go with him on this one. I don't know. Go with God. Blow that shit up. He knew. <laughs> Who's up, Barfy baby? Ew. Is that Barf guts? Who's... I mean, it's not normal guts. Hello. Oh. Oh. Oh, Tommy hurt. Ah. No. A wire! Uh-huh. Boy, that wire just long enough for that uh, little station there. Could could have got a slightly longer one. It's like when you order, order mm -hmm. the wrong cable off of Amazon. You're like, a one-foot Ethernet cable. Awesome. Oh, yeah. No, if that's an Amazon Basics, uh, that thing is going to catch on fire as soon as you <laughs> plug it into something else. It's the gross room, Brad. We don't go in there. We do not. More corrosive. Corrode everything. Let's drink it. Dump it on your hand Just next time. Melt this hurts. whole fucking boat. Okay. That, that one sounded wet. What Door. in this boat has not sounded wet? That's a very good, very good point. Ooh. What? Uh. What? What? I'm with you, Brad. I feel like this door should open. Maybe there's something leaning against it. Is he going to go around the other side? He's just trying to figure out where it needs to go next. He's got the cable. He's, he's got, got the... I think he can grab the fuse and do a, do a circuit. I think he can grab the fuse and, and do mm -hmm. like a loop around. Oh, he's doing a circuit, all right. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I heard a thud. Row, row. There's a lot of thudding just everywhere. <laughs> it's very close sounding. Let me in! Let me in! Let us out! Let us out! Elevator time! Put the wire in the elevator. And drink Put it all up. Put the wire in the elevator. Throw the can away. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, it's wired up. Get that fuse. Ooh. Just get that fuse, you'll figure it out. Get that fuse. Hopefully he's not fixating on the part where I said you might have to get more fuses. I think he might be able to just get that one fuse now. He opened enough doors. Growl, growl. Down, 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 mm -hmm. down, down, down. Oh, come on. Uh huh. He's got it now. Uh huh. He fart sounds. 
Down, down. Down. He's gonna go get the fuse. I think he's getting the fuse. Hmm. Apartment, uh, give you access to your breaker panel or fuses? Yeah, it's just in my kitchen. In your kitchen. They ever, yeah. uh, they ever trip? We've had a couple that burned out over the years, but, uh, mostly they've held up. Hmm. Oh, wait, is it actual fuses? I think there are actual fuses in there somewhere. I mean, it's a breaker oh, wow. box. I haven't looked too closely. Okay. But I think we did have one fuse go out. Oof. Ah, an elevator. Hmm. Well, it took you to the floor you were already at. Now we can just take it down to take it down, right? You can, just, you can go all the way up or all the way down. There we go. I think all the way down is what we want. He's waiting. I don't know. Maybe it is just breakers. I haven't even looked in that thing in probably four years at this point. That's good. That's a good thing. I thought I remembered something shorting out, but I just, I don't remember. I've lived here so long, man. Fuck. It's a nice apartment. I like your apartment. Thank you. I know for all the talk I have about wanting to get the hell out of here, it's not really because the apartment is bad. I just need more space. Uh. Uh. Well, that one died quick. Yeah, well, he got a couple of hits on it. Ugh. Yep. Just don't mix that up with that corrosive stuff, man. Or do. I mean, or at this point, yeah. whatever. I mean, that's me as hand. That would even be the third worst thing that happened to your hand in this game. Me just has a skeleton hand. Mm-hmm. Oh. I feel like he's on a path now. Mm -hmm. that, that elevator stuff is paying the booty. I mean, at this point, there are a limited number of places he can really go. Yeah. And they just keep giving you all these fucking bombs. <laughs> he literally has 11 of them now. You must not have to use them for anything. That's just weird. Engine room number one. This is going to be an awkward reunion. I've done a lot of soul searching. I realize maybe I haven't been as truthful with you as I could have been. But you still pick Zoe, and that was really messed up, so I'm going to leave you here. Yeah, have a good time. Have a good time in Hellboat. Um, Enjoy your mold, old boy. <laughs> oh. Oh, well, he does have a billion of them. Ow, my shins. Oh, I hope you got a trophy for that. Jerk. I just had that knee replaced. S 
Uh, he's addicted now. Wow. Did he no look? Oh, crap. No, a little early. Yeah, he did try to no look it. Ah! The thing really does make some, like, Stay Puft Marshmallow sounds. <laughs> That's not Marshmallow coming out there. No. If it is, don't eat that Marshmallow. Yeah, that Marshmallow has, uh, turned. Fuck! Oh, shit. Look, I had a rough night, okay? Very gassy. Oh. Gosh, that metaphorically feels like how I used to feel. Like the whole just lay down, uh, bump on your butt, and then explode is me after like eating way too much disgusting food. Mm -hmm. Who hasn't been there? It's one of those universal human experiences. That feeling of, I'm just going to lay down and explode. <laughs> just mm -hmm. let me... Give me a second. Don't touch me. Look, they said I could have all the soup, salad, and breadsticks I wanted, okay? <laughs> I just need to be alone with my They thoughts. make a good pasta for Jewel. I had the choice of eating this food or cleaning it up. <laughs> I decided I'm just going to eat it all because who wants to clean up anything? That guy didn't make it. No. I just keep waiting for one to show up. It's like, nope, I've been waiting here. Thank you, thank you. Just please help me. It's like, oh, I'm uh, not here to help you. Ooh. Sounds. You're just here to die. Tragically. <laughs> and be a warning. Mm-hmm. Mm, cargo bay seems like the smart play. Hey, might as well check this room, too, while you're here. Yeah. Does he have any more corrosive acid? He does, indeed. Brad with a no-look corrode. Good job. Mm -hmm. More remote bombs. Put the hard save on. Is Mia injured? Okay, yeah, I was going to say, she's making a lot of noises that she wasn't making earlier. Oh. Uh, uh, Welcome. What? Ethan. <laughs> Literally, his Apple, his Apple Watch is the only thing that's out. <laughs> Ethan. Ethan? Oh, fuck. Hey, shh. I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Aww. Hell, I never would have if I could have helped it. What do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite, nor my boy Lucas, or even Zoe here. That girl, Evelyn, she did this. What the hell is she? Now, what did she do to you? She infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. I found her near a busted out tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. She just... She forces her way into your mind. Soul, you can't fight back. You are connected to her, and you can't resist the urge to make disgusting vomit stuff. Oh, you're a, you're a different person after that, just like Mia. So, Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, 
The girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key, all right? You find her and you stop her. Ethan, free my family. Please. Well, I think, I think he's freed them, quite a few members of the family. Yeah, but they're not free free until Evelyn goes bye bye. Evelyn, stay away from him. Why? Wow. He doesn't love us. I can make him love me, don't you? No, don't make me love her. <laughs> really, I told you, I'm not going to hurt him. Don't you dare. Or what? <laughs> You're not my mommy. Remember? Ah, oh, kids. They can be so cruel. This game is a commentary on the dangers of homeschooling your children. <laughs> oh. Hey, you're hey, not Zoe. You <laughs> Thanks, Zoe. What the fuck, Ethan? I won't be able to resist for much longer. Shit. No. Shit. No, I suddenly feel bad about leaving you behind. Wait, can I have your guns? Oh shit. Oh boy. Oh boy. God damn it. <laughs> okay, probably need that crowbar. Fuck. You can crowbar your wife a little bit as a treat. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, God damn it, Ethan. Is this exactly it. what he did at the beginning of the game, yeah. though, and it didn't really pan out? Forget it. My wife! <laughs> Why, Mia? Why? Okay, you know what Where the fuck are you? So presumably all of Mia's guns just dissolved too, so you just, uh... Yeah, it's unfortunate. Only place to go through this tiny hole in the fence. I'm sorry, I couldn't read your environmental storytelling. Could I get subtitles? <laughs> oh, it's, it's extremely dark. I guess Mia survives if you inject her. Mia? Who's Mia? So, I don't even know. whoopsie on that one. <laughs> hey! I think he's gonna finish it. Is the brother still alive? Or did you fight? Oh, you fought him. I remember him. He becomes the eye creature, right? No, no, that was Jack. Oh, then who's the brother? I think, I think he's... I don't know if we've seen the last of him. Oh, okay. And I'm not saying that, like, I know something. I just don't think he... I don't okay. think he It'd be weird for the game to just forget about him. Oh, apparently Lucas is in the DLC. Okay, good to know. 
Oh. Yes. Ah. Uh. I can't reach it. Old man Stan. They were trying to mine in the bayou? Get some good stuff. You got, there's good muck down there, right? Salt mine. Hey, no, they're all dissolved. See. You can't just take them. You know. Ah, okay. She mm. got eternal damnation, and you got the uh, MP5. Choices. Mm -hmm. Important choices. Crank. Damn. Oh, that was a little juggling. So, wait, how did Mia get mixed up with all of this? So Mia, it's okay. I'm gonna give you what I, I'm gonna try and piece together on the fly. Mia worked for, you know, worked for the company or whatever. Mm -hmm. She was working with that guy. Remember that guy that got turned into goo as well? Vaguely, yes. The guy Tran in the boat. Transporting Evelyn. I don't know if they work for the government or they work for whatever, but mm. they were transporting Evelyn on the boat. She um, was taken here and then uh, found uh, Jack found Evelyn in, in the crate and um, like in the bayou after the boat whole boat thing went ashore or whatever and then Mia okay Mia also went looking for her? I don't know if Mia went looking for her or Jack found Mia as well I think Mia might have come to the house at some point as like a survivor from the boat okay I'm sure at least 25% of that is correct. Alpha-1, this is Bravo-1. Do you read? This is Alpha-1. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. However, we did find several encryptages from the Baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. Oh. That's just great. We've had now this is some Resident Evil acting. Property. I'm gonna go have a look. Oh, I remember right. what happens with Lucas Please now. Coordinates. If you encounter there's Evelyn, a... orders are shoot to kill. I think there's a DLC where you shoot play as like uh, one of these guys. Mm-hmm. Right? 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 I'm looking at all the chats, right? Yes, I think that's right. And that involves Lucas. And his little... His wily ways. Oh, oh man. You got Shit. coins, Brad. Yeah, I guess he never did get that magnum, did he? No, he never did. Gotta spend money to make money. And by money, I mean magnums. Hmm. All that, all five of that mag ammo is just gonna go to waste if you don't use it. Boom, 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 boom. Good, good save spot. Man. Gotta get through that DLC. <sighs> Something to think about after we get back from the holiday. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, you have to take the money, Brad. And run. You have to take money to make the money.
One at a time. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, what the hell? Well, I'll just put those last three coins back because you're not going to. You clearly care about reload speed. with you brad how many did he have after this he had like two three he had three left is he not going to use it on that last thing well he did i think the other thing costs five or six. Oh, it's hard to say i thought it was three yeah i think he's still missing a couple coins if only he'd gotten that coin in that demo when we first started it's a shame the dirty coin Remote bombs, all this stuff. He's ready to do it. Mm hmm. He's ready to fight whatever there is to fight in the dark. Oh, good. Don't waste all your good stuff. Oh. He's got machine gun ammo to spare. Oh, fuck off. Oh my gosh, look at him. He wants to. Ah. Oh. Was yeah. it worth the coins? Well, he switched back to his other gun. Uh, okay. Damn. He's saving that mag, imp oh. mag ammo. Oh, of course. <sighs> oh, well, at least you got an inventory slot. There you go. Oh boy. Brad trying to bait all these guys out. Shit. Yeah, it's using up all that ammo. Would you like a copy of the Watchtower? Die. Shit. Oh man, I want. So you have to do like a run through these mines. I feel like I did this a bunch, but I can't remember if it was this or the DLC. I just like was running past these guys and I can't quite remember. Just a gauntlet of moldy dudes. Sounds like something this game would do. Yeah. <laughs> Uh. Just shoot it. <laughs> That's right. That is the level of fed up I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Yay! Weed! It's almost like they're preparing you for something. Beep, beep. 
Alex, do you know much about the DLCs for this game? Not at all. Okay. So you don't Ooh. know the characters or uh Not really, no. Good. Good good. That'll be a fun surprise. It's so dark. The it is rather of, of man. Oh yeah yeah. yeah. Congratulations, you found the only solid underground in the entirety of Louisiana. It's a sick salt mine, man. Things real well preserved down here. They're just barrels, Brad. Sometimes a barrel is just a barrel. Somebody woke up. Fuck, fuck, fuck. He's mm -hmm. gonna do the fast spin. Yeah. Almost assuredly. Get him. Nice. A what? Oh, it's a tough one. That's, that's the strong. The guy with the weird arm is always way stronger than the other ones. <sighs> now he's getting a little ammo conscious. Mm -hmm. Now this would be the time to do that. So many guns to choose from. And, and yet, never enough. Never enough. Just keep an eye out for red lights. You spend a lot of time in the Virginia esque area. Did you ever go in a mine? I have been in a mine in West Virginia, yes. Not very deep, but like, you know, like where they will take tourists. Hmm. Because my dad's family is from West Virginia originally. Is it creepy? Yeah, it's unsettling. Hmm. I remember being weirdly hot. Not just like normal oh. West Virginia, like humid hot. Also Virginia-esque. <laughs> I couldn't remember if it was West or regular Virginia. You uh, you ever been to one of them uh, Virginia likes? <laughs> <laughs> Places that are uh, that are like the Virginia. <laughs> yeah, in the region. Mm hmm. You know, I will say down here, not as disgusting as a lot Fucking of the other places we've been. Die. Yeah, you like, have to make your own disgusting here. Make sure there's a lot of like molded, Whoa. but 
Yeah, I'm gonna say stick with the shotgun for now. Hmm. I do feel like if you're hanging out down here, we should be seeing salt monsters. Hmm. There he goes. Seems like a place. Some stuff. Great. This place has me thinking a real lot about the nature of salt. Just salt. It's a mineral. Just salt in general, you know? Mm-hmm. Can never have enough salt. I love salt. Oh. My doctor tries to tell me otherwise, but I <laughs> don't believe him. What do they know? Spent too much time in med school instead of eating salt. Yeet. Yeah. You can just shoot it. Save yourself some trouble. You know, it's our bathing room. How is that laptop still powered on? That battery salt. would have died after about an hour and a half. It's a salt battery. <laughs> I'm with you. Your bioweapon is fucked up. Something is glowing and steaming. Yeah, I'm gonna need some uh, X on that one. Yep. Mold. You know, I'm thinking Brad's not going to finish today. You thinking? 
Let's see what's happening. Unless, unless something is coming right up here, I don't know. He does have this whole area to go through. I forgot about the whole Lucas parts. I feel like he's maybe got one more of these in him. I bet I bet I'll call it at the next save point. You, you, yeah, man, you got an E series asset. You've got some E series cells. Wait, what? God, if he just walks away without it, that would be amazing. <laughs> I don't think he can, but that would be pretty good. Uh huh. Next boss. We had the burn and even burn burn. Uh huh. Series A through D, bad news. Mm hmm. No bueno. No. I'm reading here. Boy, they really just dumped the whole back plot on you in this section, don't just, they? Just a little bit just of exposition all of it. time. We made a good weapon. This seems uh, perfectly fine. Can't find any fault with it. Nope. I'm <laughs> using the term organism loosely here. Mm hmm. These are some very saucy memos. <laughs> Brad doesn't like it. Performing redacted. I've been breathing in all the salts. Good. A parent's love. I mean, you jammed a child into a fucking storage container what? and made her a bioweapon. Yeah, she might have oh. some parental issues. Please, you should have seen what my parents did. There you go. Everybody's got family stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Stick it I don't in got bio weapons. I got family. <laughs> Save room! Oh, Brad, you're so close. He's so close. I do think he is tantalizingly close. He is... 
They literally gave you the thing you will probably use to kill the thing. Take it all with you. Take all of it with you. Take it all with you. You can't take it with you. Take it with you. Oh, wow. He ditched the knife. He's going to regret that. He's like, take the cannoli. Does he have at rounds for it? Yeah, he's got two. He. Yeah, he's got two. There you go. Two is better than zero. A hard choice. Oh boy. Knife. No. Yeah. Okay. Too much. It's got to be a sort by. Uh, wait, you're going to keep the corrosive stuff? I think he's trying to decide what he wants, where. I think if it doesn't heal you or shoot bullets, slash grenades, get rid of it. He's going to be fine no matter what. I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, I don't see a move for the headset. I'm not seeing any... I think he knows it's what's coming. I think no, he can sense I'm it. Say, I'm saying uh, we're walking towards the door. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, if, if he didn't, you'd want it. If he didn't have it anymore. Ooh, that was a weird turn. Lots of good, normal noises happening. He's full up. I don't remember where he has to go. I do like the, the idea of Ethan just running around laden with all these guns and bullshit <laughs> just dangling off him. S trips and explodes. Check out that gross. Ooh. You don't need to corrode anything anymore. Oh. Ruined my song. Oh, good. Something bad is happening here. Well, I mean, what do you think was going to happen, Brad? You said this place wasn't gross, Finny. It's gotten gross. Okay, it was... You leave for like 20 minutes to go into a lab, you come back. It's very yucky. Shit. I think this might be the part I was remembering where I... I think I just sprinted through this. Or tried to. They catch up with you. The thing about the machine gun bullets is I bet they won't be that useful for whatever's coming next. So, yeah, mm -hmm. use them here. You can always use more herb. Herb. 
curb. I think this is funny. Mm hmm. This child's no good. Put her back. There are no bad children. Ah. No. No, I don't think that's true. Just bad scientists. Shit. Did you ever see the omen? Oh, boy. Yes. That's a bad child. That child was possessed by the devil. That's or, or neither here the nor there. I'm just saying the <laughs> child misbehaved. Or was the devil? Is there a difference? Child of the devil. <laughs> like, in someone's eyes, that's a good child. If that was a child of the devil, then that child is doing a great job. Wow, I had no idea you were on the side of Satan. As a parent, you know, I'm not on the side of anyone. I'm on the no, side of... Well, okay, I'm on, I'm that's a confusing the, fucking statement, but all right. <laughs> I'm on the side of good parents supporting their kids. Hmm. Be the best devil child you can be. I tried that. My parents didn't really like it. See, just didn't support you in your in your mischief yeah. enough. I could have been the scion of evil had I had a little more support growing up. That's right. Now I'm here streaming Resident. <laughs> now I'm here mm -hmm. streaming Resident Evil. Things could have gone differently. All I'm saying is that the American education system is not well suited to raising the children of Satan. <laughs> They're not meeting their full potential. Shit. Man, this is just an ammo sponge. Oh, god damn. Oh. Brad has had enough of these fuckers. Shit, man. They give you all this ammo, they make you feel good, they build you up, and then they just throw a hundred different monsters at you, soak up all that mm -hmm. ammo. Just a light, Brad. Can't hurt you. Whoa. Oh, so good. Mangry. Oh, pancakes. Oh, <laughs> Oh, pancakes. I'm so hungry. Fuck, run. God oh. damn it, dude. <sighs> I wonder if I'll... Yeah, once I start barfing. I wonder if I'll fight everybody this time. Mm. Do, 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 do. The molded. Okay, that's not too far. No. Reasonable checkpoint. Spread it up to yeah, the. Yeah, just get that. Get that shit ready. Oh. Wait. Oh, I, th I thought they checkpointed him after. Oh, big guy. Oh, shit. Wait, was it? I mean, it did something. Oh, that hurts. Ugh. Oh, 
Oh man. Now it's flaming barf. I love it. Oh shit. Nice. I'm dancing. Do a little dance. And do a little undulating. Just <laughs> weave. Look at me, I'm fancy. <laughs> Ooh. What the fuck? What is happening? He's barfing. Gonna explode on you? Oh my gosh. Shit. You, ne you never saw oh, I don't like looking at that guy up close. I don't like looking at any of these guys oh up close. God. Don't move. Fuck. No, no. Okay. <laughs> It killed him. No, no, no okay. he's okay. Oh my god. He's okay! That was a lot, though. That was a lot of resources. I mean, how many bullets can one man really need? I'm not that's fair. Saying. That's fair. That's fair. I appreciate that he's not taking for granted that these boxes might explode. <laughs> so use your cheap bullets now. I feel like he just doesn't want to put that knife back on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's up? I just had a realization here. Yes. And maybe this is dumb and obvious and maybe everyone else has picked up on this. Is Grandma Evelyn? Because they said in the notes that she was getting, she was aging. I figured you out, video game. You would think that the dad would have thought to mention that during the hallucination, right? Oh, by the way, Grandma's not Grandma. You know, dad's been through a lot. I'm so angry that I didn't think of that until now. Yes, very useful. For the mine you're already most of the way out of. You're gonna finish it, Brad. Come on, Brad. <laughs> to the outside! Never use oh, cheap shit. plywood. It's back in the house. <gasps> mm-hmm. Interesting. Interesting. <gasps> Give us a kiss. Give the man the Cupid doll. I hear a. I hear some clicking. Head? Somebody's bobbling. Is that a bobblehead sound? It sounded like it. He thinks it is. I know he's looking for yeah. it now. Where is it? <laughs> Ah. All right, that got me too. It's not here. It's gone. It's gone. Yeah, I remember this scene. <laughs> I 
<laughs> He's like, well, there's a bobblehead here, though. Yeah, I don't care about... You're dead. It's uh, not important. Where's this bobblehead? Question from the chat. Have I checked out the updates for Astroneer recently? I have not. Not in a while. I should. Where? What? Ah. Aha. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Is he going to put the knife on? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Just going to use one machine gun bullet, as I would. There we go. There it is. I think he's putting two and two together, much mm -hmm. as I did. But that is also very explicitly like, yo, check it out. E01. This is grandma. Just grandma. so you know, in case you haven't figured this out. So I was going to maybe somebody, I could probably look it up with the story stuff, because I was confused with the, um, the grandma's room and the journal and the doctor's thing about her having the moldy brain. Remember the fungus mm -hmm. in the brain? Remember all this? It would never be that easy, Brad. This is your fault. Oh, that was the that was the mom says the chat maybe. Hmm. Mm. hmm. I, don't, I don't know. Oh. Ethan, it's okay. It's okay. It's me. It's not okay. I know you. Did. Has not been okay for some time. Ah! Uh, you shouldn't have done that! Oh, not again. And out. Does it want to be my daddy? <laughs> then he can die. Whoop. Find it. Now it's mommy's turn to kill you. See, it was never Mia's fault. It was all... Well, I mean, Mia did take this job, but nonetheless. She wasn't trying to kill her husband. <laughs> she just made a poor career choice. Help. Oh, there's, there's no more help. Ethan, I feel like maybe you've helped me enough. <laughs> I think. Yeah. Maybe just go home. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Take a breather. Take a knee. You've earned maybe it. Just leave. Let Mia figure this one out. Let, let some other Ethan help Mia. I mean, what is Resident Evil but a series of people making the worst possible choices? That's fair. Ah! Jesus. Brad, it's a it's it's a hallucination of the chainsaw lady. She's not actually there. Remember, she dissolved. You die in the hallucination. You die in real life. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> when the when the main character makes the subtext text. <laughs> Ooh, something is skittering. Follow the noise. Could be a bobblehead. <laughs> oh, she's happy. Oh. They're gonna be one of us. And then maybe you'll play nicely. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! Ah! It's not real, Brad. Oh, uh, I don't know. Shit. <laughs> oh, I guess maybe it is. I don't know. The chainsaw feels real in my belly. Just wants to go outside. It's 
It's a big doll. Doll too big. Is that a Brad? Ignore it, Brad. That's Brad. Is that a Brad? Ignore it. it could be could be Evelyn. You probably can't even hear it. <laughs> Chainsaws in flight. Time to kill your wife. You have to relive all the times, you know, you were mm -mm. chainsawed. I'm not sure how many more places there are to go here. Yeah, I don't really remember what this is all about. Like. I mean, it's just kind of follow your way around, right? I think you're kind of backtracking the path that you made through the house. That's, you know, that's, I'll say that's. Hang kind on, of your flash, fla your flashback is glitching. <laughs> Want to reboot? We should reboot. Oh, this part. Okay. Oh, I thought his arm came off. Shit. Ugh. Dude, come on. <laughs> Clearly doesn't want you over there, Brad. I'm not really sure what the process is here. I think you have to block the uh, the gusts. Okay. Just inch it. Hey, kid, stop all the hovering. No, no, no! Alright. Do you feel bad now? No. <laughs> Why does everyone hate me? Oh, well, because... the thing is, Grandma, Evelyn. It's fine. Just put a little back teen on it. You'll be all right. I'm just going to say everything about this is a very poorly conceived by a weapon. <laughs> oh, boy. Like, yeah, of course you lost control of this shit. Are you kidding me? No, we expected all of this to take out one very specific target. This is how we yeah. can end, you know, dictatorships in other countries. Truly, it's a wonder that the CIA, you know, <laughs> ever fucking gets anything done. <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Keep on shooting, Brad. I think his head might be in the wrong VR spot. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> No, I think he got eaten. Yeah, also eaten. Huh. Just keep dumping, Brad. Never Fight. stop dumping. Fight, Grandma. I think he has to do that wind sequence, right. sequence again. I hope not. That'd be very dumb. That doesn't feel like a good checkpoint. Narrow round. Okay, good. You. Oh, but we get to see our um, uh, Ark oh, of the Covenant. Yeah. Because you're not nice. 
Grenade launcher! Magnum! Never stop shooting. Blast until you can blast no more. And try not to get too close. All right. Ah, shit. Whatever you got, just use it. Fuck it. Re I don't box. think that's going to okay. do it, man. Hey, listen. She doesn't like that, so you just keep doing it. Don't let Grandma give you a kiss, okay? Yeah, damn it. Fuck, man. Yeah, yeah, I think he hasn't quite figured out the don't get too close uh, thing yet. I think he'll yeah, get it this time. Manage <laughs> items. Oh, that's interesting. You can get to your, like, uh, your inventory from here. While you're, you can couple this enemy. That's nice of them. Flame rounds. Anything <laughs> that will fuck it up, just fuck it up. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got got some more fuel there, right? <laughs> Please let me skip this cutscene. Brad is tired of being barfed on. I like that the wheelchair melts too. Implying that it is somehow part of her. Maybe that goo is really messed up and corrosive. All right, time to go to work. Oh, just, just, uh, you should be sure. Just dump, just dump, just man. Dump. Just dump, just, yep. Look at this guy. It's got so many, it's got so many. I'm not sure that's even doing much. You know what? Shit. It's fun, though. Just shoot, man. Ah. Just shoot. Or maybe, he, maybe yeah, that was it. it. Yeah, he's got it. Oh, he got it. That was it. All right, that did work. Actually, not the worst strategy then. You know, interesting strategy. Oh. Yeah, you guys are going to want to find a different landing zone, man. <laughs> Hello? Shooter! <laughs> Just a little bit. Ah. Just grandma. Just try to reload, grandma. Ah. Uh. What am I looking at? I don't. As a tree? <laughs> Is, I don't uh, think those remote explosives are gonna do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get super close and stick it in her mouth. Fuck, do I use this thing? <laughs> Come on. Uh. <laughs> Boy, I hope it doesn't make him do that first part again. Oh, no, I don't think so, right? <laughs> well, you I never know. He, I think he's really getting caught up on this uh, this help screen here. This tooltip. It's really, like, leading him astray. Poor Evelyn. He's really fixated on these remote bombs. I mean, it's oh, like... It's fuck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh. What does everyone like me? <laughs> 
never loses its impact. Brad wants to do it his way, you know? Is he, you think he's going to remote bomb again? I think he will for this part. I don't know if he will for the next. Because there's really nowhere for him to use them the next time around. Like, this I part do, works fine. I do love this, this strategy. Yeah, she don't like that. I don't think this ever even occurred to me. Guns! 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 Mm. Remote bomb! Guns, guns, guns! It literally starts him with a shotgun. No, no, no Brad! No. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Brad, no! It's not gonna do anything for you! <laughs> Just shoot! Ah. Her! Brad just, just does not want to use a gun. I'm mystified. He's got so many of these. It's not working. Shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Wait, can you not switch weapons here? He should be able to. Wait. Brad, please, I'm begging you. Can you, can you not what switch do I here? use this on? You don't! <laughs> Alright, Brad. Hello, Brad. Alright, what the fuck? I think you Guns! Just, I, I think you just shoot. Guns! I, I, I didn't it didn't it didn't seem like I could switch off of the remote bomb. I think once you're once you're captured, once you're once you're in her hands, I think you just sh I think you just shoot her. I don't think you. Okay, so here's the thing: when you is when this, you start up, that second up, phase, hold up. Is this is this not the remote bomb thing Alex was talking about? No, no, no. no, no okay, that, you should not have told me that then. That, that was like, you got way. You no, got that way was a while ago, that, man. You used the okay. the bomb on the thing. I think you were supposed okay. to already. All right. Okay. But here's the thing: that first phase that actually worked out real well. That but that great. second phase bullets. I like that. I like the remote I'm, I'm, bomb when she's coming towards you. I never thought of that. I think it. I thought it did that on its own. Switch to the remote pretty, bomb. I'm pretty sure it did that on its own. Hmm. I don't remember I, that I, part. I didn't, I didn't have weapons select at that. Okay. All right. I guess I'll just shoot it. So when it starts, when it started the second phase, there you had the shotgun. It gave you the shotgun. Yeah, I know. When I first got into Wait, it, I'm talking about after, yeah. she, after she picks me up. Yeah, I, yeah. Don't, I don't remember that part, but um, I, I, I okay. do think you just shoot her. Okay, I thought I thought this was the part Alex was talking about with the bombs. No, nah, I think that was All back right. on the boat. Yeah, All that right. was way back. Go get him. Fuck. You got this. Right. You got it. Listen, I will assume fault for a lot of things, but not for this one. No rounds. No rounds all day. I wish I had told him it was a knife. That would have been pretty good. <laughs> you. Again, if you want to use remote bombs here, by all means, this works. Now the question is, is he going to remote bomb here? I mean, there's no reason not to. That strategy seems to be working just fine. See, what I would think would be, in my head, I understand where Brad's coming from, but I would be like, well, what if he didn't have any remote bombs left, right? Then he couldn't win the fight. They're like health potions, man. 
Everyone's gonna have 17 of those <laughs> things by the end of the game. Fight the house. Guns, 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 guns. There we go. Ouch. Yeah, dump. <laughs> Ow, ah. my face. Face, 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 face. Fucking come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, Fuck you this. were the one that didn't want that reload thing. Oh, my God. <sighs> Fuck. I think once she picks you up, I yeah. don't know if you can keep. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can get her. Okay. We. Ow. <laughs> what? Or lose it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, no, she didn't like that. <laughs> click, click. Mm hmm. Seriously, why does everyone hate me? <laughs> Are these things ever dead? I really... It's all very confusing. A lot of things have crumbled into stone. He did it. No, we must see the movie. All right. Oh, Brad gets a kick out of this. Please be Chris Redfield. <laughs> he knows. He knows. Ha! <laughs> ah! I'm glad we found you. the fuck took you guys so long? <laughs> that whole DLC All right. we go through. So the brother's still running around somewhere. Don't know where everyone... I guess everyone else is dead. I cannot wait to be done with this babysitting job. And go home to my loving husband. Babysitting job. Get it? Yeah, throw that, throw that phone out the helicopter. I gotta get back to work. I love you, Ethan. I miss you so much. I'm sending... Tons of kisses. Throw that phone away like you threw your wife away. <laughs> Actually, first, before you do that, like, smash it with the crowbar a couple of times. There you go. Bee! Yeah, that's right. Now he's got to play again and get the real ending. They say that when one door closes, <laughs> another opens. <laughs> well, a door closed tonight. The wife door. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. What door opened? Me and I were the non wife door. Here. So were the bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. <gasps> it's the new and Umbrella Corp, okay? They offered me a job with the Umbrella Corporation. I'm very excited. Losing me the first time. But now I've lost her again. And the only other door I can see is closed. Bad ending! Ending C. Oh, man.
Oh, yeah. It's like the beginning of oh, the Oh, a door. Dark Pictures game. Oh, is this uh, Evelyn singing? She had a little time on her hands, wrote herself a nice uh, moody end it's theme. It's pretty good, you know? She's got, it's got a good touring future. Look, they spent a lot of time on this credit sequence. We're going to watch it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Holy Bible and a gun. This... You know, sim- deep, man. Symbolism. Mm-hmm. It's really breathy singing. I don't know what any of the words they were saying there was, Ooh. but they were all very scary. Mm. Oh, you can't skip the movie. What if there's an end movie? It's merging. Hi. Hi, Brad. Hello. Can't hear us yet. There's your mic. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi. Boy. Hello. What a did ending. it. Holy shit. One door closes. One <laughs> door opens and one door closes. Everything from throwing the phone out of the helicopter and that monologue <laughs> through the end of mm-hmm. that song was just like, man. That's very... So... Holy shit. Are you going to get the... Uh, are you going to go back and get the other ending? Oh, what? Oh. You'd have to go all the way back to where you make the choice. Shit, man. We got the non-canonical ending. If I had known there were two endings, I might have made a different choice there. (laughs) (laughs) Well, good. I'm glad because I never saw that one. So Okay, there you go. Yeah. This is the canon Uh, ending now. You can go YouTube. I see. Okay. I was gonna I was gonna say, having played the beginning of eight, I was trying to figure out how what I just saw squared with that, but I guess Mm. it doesn't. It doesn't. That makes some sense. Um not as your, long as I was expecting. Not as long? Like, like I think, yeah, that would be kind of a commitment, but like going back to that save and redoing that choice. Like, no, that's a lot. No, no, no. We don't actually want to do that because the DLC no, is not, up next. I'm not talking about on the stream. I'm just saying yeah. you could do it. Like, I think I think you might be better served just watching it. It's, is, I feel like there's not that much different. That is, that is like probably half the game or close to it, but it's not as long as a, a game as I expected. Like you might be able to do it because you know the puzzles, but you still have to fight all those molded oh, or other those things. Yeah. yeah. What did you think of Chris at the end? Kind of expected it, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> right about the time that I hit a secret lab underground. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Talking about another E, like another letter code name virus thing. I was like, all right, this is a Resident Evil game. Yeah. 
I'm going to see an umbrella logo at some point before the end of this. So and how you much, did. Do you know that much about the DLCs? Like the different, uh, the different DLCs? Not a ton. I mean, okay. I know you can play as Chris in some of it, but there's a. Um, I think that if, if I remember, or if I'm, I think there are two that are like that were story, and there's like one that is not. Hmm. And I think are there four. I don't know. Pieces? I don't know, but it sure does keep trying to upsell me on them every time I boot this game. Oh yeah, one of them. <laughs> one of them's great. The Chris one, I, I um, I don't remember that well. It's more. I think the Zoe good. DLC is pretty well regarded, though. Zoe DLC was yeah, good. Might, the Chris one is kind of an it. action shooter. Yeah, yeah, they really kind of lay the combat on thick toward the end, don't they? Yes, yeah. they do. But it really just sort of turns into a shooter for a bit. Um. And then I think there's hell of, a, hell of a game though. Yeah, it's cool. Hell of a game. It gets really it's, Resident it's, Evil at the end there. It's pretty good. What do you get, think? Uh, what, yes. what do you think in terms of like? Um, like I feel like they the beginning the first the first part of that game is so is very unique and then it slowly turns into more of a Resident Evil game as you yeah. Go. That's what I meant. Like about the time I hit that lab, I was like, okay, <laughs> they are just fully mm-hmm. nestling themselves in their tropes now, aren't they? Yeah, and you can imagine uh, playing. I mean, it's first person the whole time. But you can imagine playing not VR is, um, yeah. you know, it's good though. Kinda, it's a good, it's a good kinda, game. Kinda, kind of want to go back and play through it again without VR just to see what that would be like. But does it does it just kind of play like a console shooter at that point? Yeah, you know, some stuff. I mean, especially on the boat stuff, like where you're just shooting the the molded guys over and over. Like right. some some of the other stuff. Up until the mom, you know, it's a little different with the bugs and everything, but. Uh, like once you're there and you're kind of shoot, fighting the same two or three enemies over and over, and you get the machine gun. It's yeah, good. I enjoyed it though. Enjoyed yeah, it enough to good. jump right into the DLCs. I, I think the Zoe DLC is different, plays differently enough that it's definitely worth trying. Yeah, I might have to look into that stuff. I'm kind of curious. I get uh, this and then that RE2 remake coming out back to back. I get why people were all like, "Holy shit, Resident Evil." Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh. I can't remember Hell if there's an end scene on this at the very end. Yeah, I kind of can't not wait for it. No, you've come this far. You should you should stick with it. Why not? I'm always afraid to hit skip because I'm afraid it's going to skip that scene, too. Like if it's attached to this movie? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, we're in the songs, so... Oh, boy. Now we're getting into the third-party studios that helped. Uh-huh. Yeah. Favorite level, Brad? Level? Or just kind of area? Section. Yeah. Section of the game. Man, um... I think that first house probably is, is mm. the best. Like, it's the most Resident Evil, you know? It's the most haunted house. Like, there's the, the most puzzles. Mm. Not, it's not a super puzzle-heavy game. But... Yeah, I'd say that probably probably that part. It's got a lot of keys. Yeah definitely some keys let's see there's like there's okay there's the house there's like lucas's old weird shit there's the greenhouse and the mom what else before you get to the ship it's like that's kind of it right it's all that and then the ship the mom the ship the dad yeah yeah i guess those are like the big four and the ship i'm too busy shredding over here (laughs) oh Oh, am am i missing lines am i missing something good no just some good guitar shredding Oh boy. All right, we've gotten to Capcom Europe. We've got to be getting near the end here. Um, all right, Brad, can you recap the story of this game? No, like the setup. Like, what? What do you? What do you think? What, what do you got in your head for uh, how this all went down in terms of Evelyn and Mia oh. and Tim Turner outside of. I mean, what outside of what was like very obviously presented? Yeah, like you know. I don't know if there's a lot of. I mean, Mia and that other dude were escorting Evelyn the E series experiment, right? Yeah, mm-hmm. that's and very they, much. And it. they sh- and they shipwrecked in the bayou, and that family got exposed, and all kinds of bad shit happened. That's pretty much it. Like, I mean, the only thing that might throw you for a loop is like, what's up with the old lady, and why? I mean, was she always old? And she was just projecting a little girl, or. Mm. I don't know. 
No, I well, think they it's... say there's a bit in there where they say that Evelyn is starting to age weird. Like oh, that's a, right. A piece yes. of lore you picked right. up. Right. Right. I forgot about that. that. That note that said like, oh, she's starting to show gray hairs and wrinkles. Yeah, and I think there's also yes. a thing where Jack Jack has a thing somewhere. It's like I, I brought this little girl home from the uh, from the shipwreck. Uh, keeps talking to her about her like a little girl. Yes. Okay, I'm we're sure seeing logos that. now. This is good. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna plug back in just in case anything happens here. Okay. okay. It's going back in. That's a lot of logos. I can't find it. Is. They used a lot of middleware. Turns out. What's that skull and pro- crossbones one, you think? Yeah, Getty Images. Gotta get those images from somewhere. Yeah, all that uh, intro stuff. <laughs> wow, Masuda mm. really gets the. Uh... These are like the big credits again, just in case you forgot them. Mm hmm. Capcom. It says Capcom. That's when it ends. And you. Ah. Uh, Happier times. Except Dad still looks like a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait, he threw his phone out. Mm-hmm. Ah. Wait, is that oh. really? Is that really it? Oh, so close! Mm. All right. Brad has had enough of your VR. No more of that. Well played, Mr. Shoemaker. There it is. Oof. Hell of a game. A good time. Uh, That is going to do it for the Resident Evil main story playthrough. That's right. I might have to get in there and mess around with that Albert Zero One a little bit. (laughs) Forgot Uh, about that part. So stupid. Um, did you feel like you had enough coins? Did not regret um, uh, leaving that dirty coin behind. Do you know? If, did you have to have the dirty coin to get all the items? Because it looked like it was like how many? I, I think, think you had a like, couple of coins short. I don't think you have to have that coin, but I think it just makes it easier in case you don't find them all. Yeah, like I don't I, remember how many, how many. I forget how many short I was of that speed reloader. I didn't really feel like load reload times were a big problem mm. in that game. Yeah, they also a bunch of get to spend a lot of time with that magnum either. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Just that last level. Uh, yeah. Well, cool. I am very glad I have seen that game through now. Yeah, that was a good ending needed, for this week. I needed to know. Well, you gotta get the rest of the story. We'll uh, we'll have to jump well, into some of that DLC yeah, at a later we'll, date. Yeah, well, I'll investigate that at some point, uh, and soon you will know the rest of the story. Um, they're they're fairly short, but they're that that Zoe one's pretty funny and goofy. And good. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. Yeah, it's silly. Uh, Alex and Brad, that is going to do it for today's stream. We're going to be yeah. re- recording that podcast tomorrow. So I'll just say if you're listening to that on Wednesday or Thursday and we miss whatever uh, big news breaks on Wednesday, you know why. You know, you'll know why. Of course, it's going to happen. Something earth shattering. It always does. All right. It always happens. Uh, it always happens. Um, and uh, Brad and I will be back on Wednesday. We're going to do some uh, scrap mechanic. Can we finish the challenges? We finished just one challenge. Mm. We're just in Evil 7. I don't mm. know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. 
I don't know. So uh, we'll be back there. Alex, safe travels. Thank you, you much. Know, flying out. I mean, I'll be on the podcast, so you know, at least there's That's that. Right. But yep. Uh, and so cash that uh, coming up later this week, and then we're gonna take Thursday and Friday off, and we'll be back <laughs> on Monday. So I'm gonna finish out this week. Be back on Monday. Woo! Enjoy if you're celebrating Woo. the holiday. Enjoy it. If not. Enjoy the rest of your week. <laughs> just, find, hey, find something to enjoy. Hey, you don't yeah. have to have a holiday to eat a bunch of food. I just don't rule against that. Uh, you don't need a holiday to have a good time. You heard it here first. Next Islander says, have a good time anyway. All right, everybody. See you later. Thanks, Brad. Thanks, Alex. Yep. Yep. Bye.